Howdy guys, welcome back to another Mafia 3 Definitive Edition. Today we are blackmailing, I think it is. Um, to see if we can blackmail someone, I guess. Alright, we'll park our car here, and then we'll head inside to see if we can blackmail. Oh. Okay. Um, how's it going? You the reporter? Harold Cawley, it's Hatler. I'm covering DeRazio's little corruption racket. Can't imagine it's good for your health, naming names in the Marcano organization. Didn't you hear? Even cigarette smoke will kill you. So here's what I know. We've got city officials taking bribes. Blackmail. Juicy stuff. At the center of it all is a fellow named Frankie Bernard. The problem is, I don't know where he operates. Might make it kind of hard to find him. Ah, but the thing is, I hear Mr. Bernard uses debt drops. Spots where his people leave bribes for officials to pick up. And I just happen to know where they are. I also understand Frankie keeps a sweet blackmail stash of every dirty deal he's done. I'll see if I can't get one of those couriers to give up the location for your mystery man. And his little blackmail stash. The people working for Bernard are just as secretive as he is. You might have to find some way to get them to talk. Alright. So, pace. Okay. Alright, marked with stamps, if you see it, cash will be nearby. Alright, so we gotta go and try to get a cash, well, I should say, at one of the um, drops and stuff, so we can take it from the officials, so they can't pick it up and get the bribe to basically pay off the illegal stuff to get in to here and out. Um, I did some stuff off camera. All right. Good time don't belong here. There we go. Like I was saying, um, I got some extra <laughs> gun, or uh, well, I apparently had it for free. I don't know what I did to get it for free. Okay, we gotta get him over here so we can interrogate him. Huh? He's even wearing. You gotta dig. <laughs> Don't. You're gonna tell me what you know about Frankie Bernard. Mr. Bernard has some bag men making drops. All I know is the kind of car they're driving. From now on, my crew is your crew. Ooh. Nice. We got the uh, nice vehicle and stuff. Frankie delivers cash and our dirty officials follow. Oh, in a. Okay, we might need to get in one of these cars. I better call the police. You call the police and you ain't <laughs> going anywhere. But yeah, nah, I'm sorry. Can't take no risk because of the cops. Cops are kind of were starting to get very annoying. Because I had to deal with like a bunch of the cops and stuff. Just uh, when I was doing other stuff. Because the civilians were calling the cops every like two seconds. Alright. Oh. Um. Oh. Crap. Oh crap. He's coming this way. Okay. Please don't turn down this way. Okay. We gotta follow. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Come on, car. I don't care about that right now. I got a important mission to do. Okay. We gotta follow him all the way there. And I've been trying not to do, like, I've been trying, I almost accidentally, hey, that is a lot of people, I'm just saying. Oh, oh, I was about lost him, oh, please don't lose him. Go, go, car, go. But no, um, I actually almost accidentally did a few of the skulls and stuff off camera. 
and so basically I didn't want to do those off camera and then mess it all up. Okay, dang it. No. Oh. Okay. The cops in downtown off me. Right away. We gotta keep the cops off of us because we gotta follow this car. Last time I tried to follow them, um, I had to get like very close up. Oh wait. Oh, they don't think anything is suspicious because I'm in a car, they're in a car. The exact same car and stuff. So they don't think any suspicious. I found a loophole because they don't find anything suspicious about this. She's going down. Got a body. There we go. Thought a car came up in here. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Honest truth, thought a car came up in here. But no, that's pretty cool now. Since, um, we can actually just use one of those cars to get it, which is a good thing. Because since they didn't even, I thought it was gonna be like, they're going to uh, get suspicious of us, but turns out that they weren't even suspicious about us because we were in the exact same car. And I think that's what that one little um, little sign that was on the side, I think that's what it means by basically that I could have used the exact same car and they wouldn't have thought anything about it, odd or anything, you know? You ain't taking no shot. Hush, hush. I'm recruiting you. Tell me what you know about Frankie Bernard. The boss is running things out of the Imperial Bathhouse Spa. He, uh, he's keeping the politicians in line with dirty pictures he's got stashed there. My crew will be in touch. So which crew is he going to? That's my question. Is he going to the Vito's crew or the Irish or which crew? Cause like that's my question. It's like which crew is he going to? And the thing is, we got so much more cash we gotta grab. So I mean, it's kind of. Hmm. Some weird people checking into the royal. That might be a good sign for us. Because it might be one of the dudes uh, at the hotel we had to try to get out. Because um, we got to wait for him to come out of the hotel and stuff so we could actually get him all spooked and stuff. So it might be him actually there. And he still might be in the actual hotel. And what's so bad is he doesn't even come out of the hotel. Like, um. Uh... Crap. I forgot the dude's name. <laughs> when he said that, uh. The only time, oh, the only time he's ever came out of the hotel and stuff was by accident, and one of his uh, guys basically got their heads knocked in. That officer almost about got. Wow. Um. Okay. Okay. Life's too short. Mm-hmm. So, you're not gonna find me eating that mess anytime soon. 
Okay, um... So... We got nothing for you. Okay. Uh, I'm kind of nervous about the cops up, or not the cops, what the heck, excuse me, um, the guys up there and stuff. On the other side. Yeah, there's the cash. Okay, you guys are good, right? Any y'all are bad? Good, good. Oh, I think this is like supposed to be, um, crap. What are those things uh, nowadays, like saunas and stuff? Because I think that's what this is supposed to be. It's like a bathhouse and stuff, but it's a sauna. God dang it. God dang. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Get out of here. Oh, that was hilarious. Friggin' all you see is a bunch of people just come running down the stairs from up here. It's still further up, it says. Are y'all down Just or? Let Take him down. Y'all went into the pool and stuff. Wow. Y'all got no respect, even though I guess y'all own this place. Let's do What the f Okay, I need to get away from that. Um oh there we go. We can get him. Got you. Okay, we're going to switch to sniper rifle. There's cash in there. How do we get in there to get the cash? Okay. Come here. There we go. You gotta get yours. Oh, hush, hush. You are fine. Now be quiet, good sir. You are fine, so just hush. Alright. I guess that's that. I could have swore you was here. <coughs> Only a matter of time till I find you. Um, okay. Oh, yellow bastard. Okay, I got to keep searching. We're almost about done with this, so we just got to get a few more money. I see it, we just gotta get a few more money. So. Um. I think there's probably a few more. Probably. 
Maybe out here. Yeah, we can get a few more up here. So, yeah, here we go. Alright. Well, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to head there. Because if I keep looking around and then head there, we will probably won't have enough time. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to uh, cut it from here to there. So, I'll see you guys when we get there. Alright, guys. We are back here at Ardo. I don't even know how you say his name. All right, so I searched around there, not much. Um, it didn't let me get any more money, so uh, which really sucks. A bit but. Of hot water over at the bathhouse. Sorry, shitty pun. <laughs> because of you, Tony Derazio is having a hard time controlling the city's politicos. So he's ordered Frankie to keep an eye on the Imperial. It's a third strike, you're dead situation. How do you think you'll handle old Frankie? That's all up to him. Hey, I could tag along, my camera's in the car, and... You want to dig up more dirt for your rag, you do it on your own time. I ain't gonna drag your libelous ass all over town. I get it. I get it. Be seeing you. If you kill Bernard, be sure to let me know what happened, okay? All right, I guess. Which I probably won't tell you. You have to figure that out on your own. Um, we're probably going to be not keeping him for any of our business. Because usually big guys like that, um, we usually don't keep. Since he's not really running a racket, really. So it's kind of not really our problem. And we won't have to be dealing with him. I mean, which is a good thing. We won't have to be dealing with him. Yeah, but then, on the other hand, it's kind of a bad thing that we won't be getting him. Because I, honest truth, need a few more money and stuff on, um, I think it's the Irish and stuff. Well, actually, I need more money for the Irish and, uh, for the Purple Gang and stuff. Vito's gang, I don't know what really call them. New Yorkers, I guess. I don't know. Um, what the heck? Why'd you just hop out of your car? You almost about got hit because I'm was beside your car. Uh, but no. I know Vito, uh, I think his name is Burke. And her name, I don't know her name, to be honest. So, which kind of sucks because I don't know her name. And it's probably like the most easiest name ever to remember. Which, that sucks. Okay. So that means now. Okay. I already got half the money last time yep. in I here. Frankie had you out running money. All over the Someone city. starts knocking off everyone around me. I find a new line of work. Never had any time. <laughs> you bitched me and beer. bitched for that. Me and I'm all for Probably stay. There we go. Curious. This poor oh. Fine. You might want to get out of here. The bad part though is uh, that one room where the two guys were doing their thing and stuff. Um, we couldn't get the money there, which sucked. And then I think we couldn't take this place over either because of this. We had to wait for um, him to tell us that we have to take the place over. Be quiet, guys. No, not that way. Okay. 
Okay, so one guy's right above us. Not good for him. They're spitting and stuff. But, I mean, though, we did, I honest truth, clean this whole entire place out of all cash and good loot. Ooh. She keeps talking about wanting to go buy you to feed the gators. But she can't tell me where she need to feed them with. Just smile. That's not creepy at all. And she might be talking about you, dude. They should expect the police to do something about She might be saying she's gonna feed you or something. To the guy I'm gonna go to the dentist. Goddamn tooth is killing. Sorry for your tooth hurt. And who's in the room with you, Alan? Uh Mr. Durazio's man, Senator. Okay, Mr. Bernard. One question. How exposed am I? Uh the Senator wants to know. Mr. Drazio guarantees confidentiality, sir. The man's been shot! Transactions you may have had with Alan, our organization I'll tell you are what. safe as houses. Fine. Alan, you ever talk around me like I'm not standing right here? And I'll have to hurt you some. Down, go down, go down before they came here. So what? You gonna kill me now? Good idea. I, I guess I was. I, that's what kind of sucks is you can't keep them. And I guess the reason you can't keep them is because they know way too much, and they're probably. I'm going to send it to Vito because I forgot to. Nope. I accidentally. God dang it. Oh well. I'm downtown. Need some help oh. securing it. Okay, my boys are going to come over, make sure it's all nice and locked down. But I ain't doing it as a favor. I expect you to look out for me. Remember, we're supposed to take down Marcano together. The investigation was a mess from the very start. The locals did everything they could to keep us out of it, but that wasn't the worst of it. Someone actually broke into our offices and not only stole all of our files, but they also took most of our surveillance equipment. Did some busking when I was younger. I know who did that. All right, well, I'm going to end it here, guys. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Bye, guys.